All right, welcome to module four. And in module four, we are going to discuss marketing. In this module, you're going to learn how to create marketing content and sales funnels. You're going to learn how to create adverts, pre sale pages, sales letters, and online store product descriptions. Um, the essence of marketing, obviously, is to sell your product. This is the life engine. This is the engine room of your business. Without marketing, you're not going to make money. So I'm going to show you how to how to create marketing content that will help you sell the products that you import for your e-commerce business. So we're going to start with the adverts. So the ad adverts are are divided into three parts the headline the body and the call to action so um so let's start with the headline the headline is the first thing that you say in your advert this is the first thing that people see it's not a picture it's not it's nothing it's the first thing that people see and it has to grab your attention if you want people to read your advert and pay attention and move and do something then your headline the first things that you put up in your advert has to grab their attention. So for example, if I have a pair of shoes that I want to sell to people who are short, you know, the shoes will make them look maybe three to five inches taller. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, are you short? Are you short? Now, do you think this is going to grab the attention of everybody who is short? Of course. It's going to grab the attention. Will it grab the attention of people who are tall? No, of course not. And you know what? I don't care because I don't want to sell the shoe to tall people. Tall people are never going to buy that shoe, right? They're never going to buy it. You know, so I want to sell it to short people. So I'm going to say, are you short? Another way to create an, uh, a headline, you know, is to use um, benefits, okay? So I'll say something like, would you like to add three to five inches to your height? So I'm phrasing as a question. Do, would you like to add three to five inches to your height? Now, do you think that short people would do? Do you think they would like to add three to five inches to their height? Do you think so? Of course they would. You know, because a lot of them, sorry, to, you know, this is not offending if you're short, but a whole lot of short people are self-conscious about their height. So anything that will help them, you know, you know, get a bit taller or show themselves a bit taller is always of interest to them and they are going to want to to check it out and figure out what it is. So that's what you do for your headline. Your headline has to grab attention. It has to stop people in your target market in their tracks. You know, it has to stop them in their tracks and get them to pay attention and to keep reading. The job of your headline is to get them to keep reading the advert. So from the headline, they move to the body. So the body is the meat of the advert. So, so the body will say something like, after he has said, are you short? You know, so if you would like to add 35 inches to your hand, this is probably the best message you will read today. It has, in my position, is a unique pair of unisex shoes that can add three to five inches to the height of any short person without any expensive surgery. If you would like to learn more of that, and then we get to what we call the call to action. So the call to action is what you want them to do next. So what do you want them to do? If they would like to learn more, what should they do? That is your call to action. What should they do? Okay. So you've told them this is the best message they are going to read if they want to add three to five inches to their height. You know, if they would, they would like to end more, what should they do next? That is a call to action. So it's up to you to decide what you want them to do next. Do you want them to click through and go to your website? Do you want them to click through and go to your website on Conga, your page on Conga on, or Junior? You have to tell them now. So if that's what you want, you want them to go to your site or your page on Junior, right? If you would like to learn more, click here and go to Junior or click here and go to and, and check it out on Conga. Click here and check it out on Junior. Click here and check it out on my website. So you tell them click here and you know check it out on and then you put the link to where you want them to go to next. If you don't want them to go to the so site, you want them to call. So you say if you like to learn more, call zero eight zero blah 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 blah. 
now. Why are you telling them now? Because you don't want them to post to shift it. You don't want them to postpone it. You don't want them to say, oh, I'm going to check it out to, in, in two hours' time. Because a lot of times they're never going to do that. They're going to forget. Human beings are like that. So you want them to do it now. Call this number now. Call so, 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 so number now. Okay? And then they do that. So next is our pre-sale page. So the pre-sale page, if from the name you probably already guessed what it is. So the pre-sale page is is a sell page that you know a content that pre-sells a product to the person without telling them to buy it. It gets them interested. It gets them you know interested in buying this product. So that's what the pre-sale page is. So it's the same thing, it's just that it's a bit expanded. It's the same thing as an advert. And you can use this content as an advert also. You can use it as an advert, it's the same thing. And when you use it as an ad, right? When you use it as an ad, you know, what you have done is that you have taken this advert and added more content to it. So as, as before, we have a headline, then we have what you call a yes set question. A yes set question is a question that the answer is definitely going to be a yes. When you ask that question, it's going to be a yes. All right? When you ask that question, it's going to be a yes. When you say, oh, um, you know, would you like to do blah, 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 you know that the answer is going to be a yes. So if we say, are you short, as our headline, and, and then the next question I ask, would you like to add three to five inches to your height? Of course, if I'm asking people who are short that question, of course the answer is going to be yes. I know the answer is going to be yes. So that is a yes set question. Okay, and then you now describe the problem. So the problem is, would you like to add three to five inches to your height? Yes. And now describe the problem. And you say, if you are short, there are only a few options available at your disposal for you to add extra inches to your height. Now, why would you like want to add extra inches to your height? Because it's going to give you more confidence. It's going to it's going to get you into give you more opportunities. It's going to it's going to get you get more people interested in you, especially people of the opposite sex. You know. ETC. But the problem is to increase your height, there's only one way to do it, and that is through expensive surgery, where your the tendons on your leg are adjusted a bit to add about one inch to your height. So what it means is that you are spending a lot of money and going through a lot of pain just to add one extra inch to your height. And really, not everybody fancies the idea of going through all of that trouble just to add one extra inch to their height. Which is why what I'm about to tell you is fantastic news, right? And then, and I'll describe the solution. There is a solution now, and that solution is this pair of unisex shoes that I have found that can help add three to five inches to your height without any surgery, without any expensive procedures. And the shoes are so cheap, you will be loving it the moment you lay your hands on it. If you would like to learn more about these shoes, call to action. Click here to go through to my link. Or if you want them to call you, call 00000 now. Okay, so that's how you put up your pre-sale. So when they, if if you attend them to go to your link, right? If if the link is on your website, so what that means is that you're sending them to your sales letter. All right, so the sales letter is still the same format, but in the sales letter is where we now describe everything about the products right so we're describing everything about the product and making it available to them so we're using the same headline as before are you short based on our, our our current example are you short okay and then we put the product image and after the product image we introduce the product so we talk about the product you know 
we introduce the product and then next we explain how the product works how does it work you know after that we talk about the benefits what are the benefits of using this product after the benefits we say this is how much the product sells for the pricing this is how much we're asking you to pay for it after that we put a guarantee always put a guarantee for the products that you sell guarantees will help you sell three times four times five times ten times more more products than if you don't have a guarantee it works like gangbusters always put a guarantee buy the product if it doesn't add three to five inches to your height just like i say it will return it and i'll give you 100 percent of your money back no questions asked no quarrels Right, I'm assuming all of the risk. I'm putting all of all of the all of the upside on you, right? So after the guarantee, you put an element of scarcity. So scarcity is what you tell them to make them to act now rather than later, because you want them to buy now. You want them to order now. You want them to take action now, today, not tomorrow, not next week, not next year. You want them to act. Now, so you say, okay, this product sells for seven thousand. If you buy it today, you know, in two weeks, it's going to go up to a hundred thousand. To a hundred thousand, of course, that's that's an example. You can go up to twenty thousand. It's going to go up three times, and we're going to sell it for twenty-one thousand. Three times what you would have paid for it today, right? So, if you want to buy it at one third. What you will pay for it in two weeks time, you had better order it now. Or you can say, look, if you buy it today, we are giving a free bonus. We are giving a backpack as a free bonus. But this free free bonus is limited to the the remaining number in our current batch of products that we have now. And in our batch of products, we have only 20 left, right? So only the four, next 20 others will get this backpack. So if you want to get a backpack, make sure you order, you're among the next 20 people that order rights now. Okay, so you tell them that and it's pause them to act now rather than later. And then after scarcity, you tell them how to order. So how to order? How do you want them to order? If you don't tell them how to order, they're not going to order. How do you want them to order? Do you want them to pay upfront? Or do you want them to pay when the product is delivered to them, you have to tell them how to order. So that is how you arrange your sales letter and get it, you know, perfect and get it working. And this brings us to online store descriptions. So how do you create your online store description? Because if you are selling on Conga or Jimmy, you still need an online store description. But you don't want to do it the way amateurs, all of the people that are there now do it. You want to do it right. You want to do it in a way that works really, really well. So online store descriptions. How do you create online store descriptions? So start again with the headline. Are you sure? And you put the introduction, same as the, the sales letter. Because remember, you don't have a lot of space to write. You don't have a lot of space to write, so you have to be concise. So you put the introduction, you explain how it works, you put the benefits, and then you put your scarcity. So that is how that works. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go online and I'm going to show you examples of pre sale pages, adverts, sales letters for different products, you know, and and show you how you can find, for example, if you're selling if you're selling a weight loss product, how to find similar adverts that have been successful before for weight loss and which will help you, you know, build your own and create your own pre-sale pages or your own sales letters for your product. So let's go online and do that. We are um, online and I want to show you sample adverts, sample pre-sales, sample sales letters um, that you can use for, that they, they can get inspiration from really, you know, you're not copying, we like, trying to borrow ideas and get inspiration from what has already been advertised and has already proven successful. Okay, so this is one for cosmetics. So it says, what famous cosmetic genius, genius proves you can now eliminate wrinkles in one minute flat. 
look up to 10 to 20 years younger almost immediately with his Miracle X100 facelift. Wrinkles, lines, sags, puffiness, and creases disappear from your face. Okay, and so this is it. This is it. All right, then here is another one. Um, by the way, you're getting all of these links, you're getting them is in your resources folder. Is in the resources folder, you know, or here on the on the sites. So you are going to get everything, and then you can go view these things by yourself. I'm just trying to demonstrate them for you. So, so let's click on this and see. Okay. So this one says, your man, if he's not working in the bedroom, your wife needs you to read this now. Okay. And then this of course is, is a kind is a booklet. It's a booklet. So these are the, the contents of the booklet, but you can see the headline. Now, if you do you think a man who's staying, you know, is not working in the bedroom, do you think if he sees this, it's not going to grab his attention? Of course it will. Of course it's going to grab their attention. Okay. And then we can check out another one. Let's see, is there another one? Okay, let's just look at this one. It says, it says this is for, for memory. It says forgetful, the real reason your memory is fading away. Okay, so this is another booklet, and you can see that. Let's look at another one. Uh, okay. Okay, let's look at this one. This one is, is for another wrinkled product. It says, my jealous friends accuse me of having a facelift, right? The confessions of a sneaky housewife who finally reveals the secret behind her younger looking face. So, so this is it. So this is the product right here. That's it. And um, okay, let's look at this one. This one is for weight loss. It says green tea fires up your body's funnel, so you burn you so you burn more fat. Citrine wipes out hunger for rapid slimming. Okay, so there you go. So you can see this these are like the uh, the pre -sale. So you see this one says call toll free today. So this one is asking them to call today, right? Call today. And uh, let's see whether there's another one. Okay, so basically you can you can go check out these things for yourself. Uh let's go to this other site. So here it's called swipefile.com, and here you can check out or different kinds of ads so you can see ads you can click on any of these buttons and it will show you samples of of the different things under this category so i click on categories and then click on um this one says is this the end of overeating i think this is for a weight loss product okay here we go so it's for so a weight loss product is this the end of overeating new weight loss discovery stops you from overeating while el eliminating hunger and cravings all right so so there you go and then this is the product right here and then it says call this number now so you can see that so you can call that number Another one is um, this. Is another this one is a sales letter. F sales letter. It says the next breakthrough for joint discomforts. For joint discomfort. So this is for joints, and you can get that. This one is for arthritis. Okay. How gene so grazing is cured comments or place or try this. Okay, so this one 
you call it the most advanced healing techniques on the planet. There's another one, the coming starting scandal that will dwarf virus. Now this is an, a site called Swipe.co. So on Swipe, you can you can click here and check out ads in different categories. So this one is for real estate. So it's going to pop up all the ads that are here for real estate. Okay, so. So here you go. So I can check out another, I can check another one. This one is for melee three. Let's see what ads they have for melee three. Qualification ad for the army. This one is for joining the army. Uh, let's see, this one is for jewelry. So you can just check out Check out the different categories, okay? You can check out the different categories and you can see. So, this is another one. Plenty, plenty sales letters here. Plenty sales letters here. And you can click on any of them and basically download it for your, for your use. These are... Uh, this is from News24. It's, it's, uh, it's for diabetes. It says, how great is your risk of diabetes? Okay, and then it's telling you to call. And here is another one. Okay, let's click this and see. Unable to control sugar level. So, that's it. So, so you can... Go to Google and search, you know, so for this diabetes, go to Google and search for diabetes advertorial. So, so we can go to Google and say diabetes advertorial, advertorial, okay? And then, so you can see the News24 link, and if we click on images, we can see different ones okay so this is this is the one for the sugar level thing so that's how you find samples of ads that you can use for you know to create your own your own sales letters your own ads your own pre-sales and so on and so forth so let's go back to our slides and and I can show you where to advertise your sites, your stores, and so on and so forth.